I think that's the community center. There's no other glass building around the area. It must be this one. Now I need to find the room. I think I'll ask at the reception. Hi, sorry, could you please help me? I'm looking for a community group that meets today. I think that it's a geography research community. Geography research group? Do you mean the computer class for beginners? No, I don't think it's that. It's a youth community group. Let me please see the program. We have the computer class for beginners at 4, the Swedish exercise at 5.30. Oh, hold on. Do you by any chance mean the debate class? They meet at the back room. We didn't have space for them in the main rooms. They organise debate activities. Debate activities? What's that? They choose a different topic every week and they have to collect facts about it. Some will be true and some inaccurate. What they do is then debate and try and find the fact from the fiction. So they aren't a geography group? The topic could be geography this week. Do you want to go and check with them? They're actually already in the room as their session has started at three. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. How do I find them? Down the stairs, find the corridor and you'll see the second brown door on your right. Best to go soon as their session is only ten minutes left. Hmm. He said it's the second brown door on the right. Okay, it must be at the door at the end then. This must be it. Hi. Hey, who are you? Are you new? Well, sort of. What's this place? I'm looking for the youth community session. Oh, sorry, it's just finished. Everyone left five minutes ago. We had a bit of a fight. Why? What happened? Have you been here before? This is quite usual. No, I haven't. What's your name, by the way? Oh, I'm Maddie. And you? Good to meet you. I'm Betty. Do you want to come closer? I don't bite. Sure. So, Betty, I'm here because I wanted to find out about your group. Somebody I know mentioned that you may be able to help me. What do you need help with? I have a class presentation, and I'm trying to find information on a place, but I'm not allowed to use the internet. Are you kidding me? I have not heard anything more ridiculous in my whole entire life. Is something wrong with your teacher? How are you supposed to find information without the internet? Tell me about it. Are you going to go to a library or something? I've already been. You won't believe the story. The librarian was actually really helpful, though. And I was about to find the information I wanted, but then she just disappeared. It sounds weird. What country are you looking for? It's called Kayoni. Oh, I know that place. The group are doing debates about the environment this week. But there were some people in the group who were trying to spread misleading information. Kayoni had some issues lately about the environment that has put a lot of pressure on the island. Oh, could I just ask, is the island in the Indian Ocean? Yes, it is in the Indian Ocean. It was previously a French colony, but it has been independent since 1973. Many people still speak French. 
Oh, that explains why the encyclopedia had some French words. You need to research more. The encyclopedia has general information, but it is necessary to find out what is going on now on the island. You need to use other sources, otherwise you are missing important facts about the people. Okay. For example, I know that there is a big debate about adding new wind farms to the island. Some people are not happy as it is changing the beauty of the island. Oh, that sounds confusing. What are wind farms? You don't know what wind farms are? You know the turbines you see turning in the wind? They make electricity using the power of the wind. Oh, okay. I think I know what you mean. Are they those tall white metal poles that turn around with the wind? Yes, that's them. I get it. The problem is that some people don't like them because they change the look of the island. In fact, locals have divided the island into two parts, against and for the turbines, and both sides have regular demonstrations and protests. And what side's right? I don't want to say the wrong things in my presentation. It depends who you ask. Are you just looking for an opinion or for the truth based on facts? Sometimes people see only one side because they've been told half the truth. Now I'm more confused. You want to know if the turbines are good or bad? Well, it depends. For example, fruits are meant to be good for you, but if you eat too many, you'll have a stomach ache. What about chocolate? Well, that's generally bad for your teeth, for example. But if you brush your teeth and you don't eat too much of it, it may be okay. Okay, I understand more now. But don't believe that chocolate helps people lose weight. We had a fiery debate on that two weeks ago. I mean, if you go to the gym every day and you eat a bar of chocolate, you will certainly lose weight. So it all depends. I think I get it. So the wind turbines can be good if you don't have too many of them, like fruits or chocolate. They are good if they save the environment because they are making electricity from the wind. However, they could also be bad, for example, if a new hotel is built and faces them. The hotel owner would be really unhappy as it would change the view for the guests. In other words, it depends on what is important and for whom. The hotel will help to house tourists who will be happy with the scenery and may come back to the island. On the other hand, wind energy is clean for the environment, unlike other types of energy. I want to add this to my presentation. The topic is about the culture and the people of Kayoni, so it sounds relevant to me. Where can I find more information that's up to date? I would personally check a newspaper. The whole issue has been lately on the news, so if you get the current affairs newspaper from last week, you'll find loads. They're very good as they're presenting both sides, the people who want the wind farms and those opposing them. Oops, I have a text. It's my friend, she's waiting outside. Listen, I have to go now, but please do come back if you want. Ah, okay, Betty. Thank you. That's very helpful. Great, good luck. And if you want to join our debate group, you're always welcome. Although I think you would need to wait four or five years first. No, it's fine. I'm too busy with school and running club anyway. I hope that you're going to be back to your normal debates with no more arguments. Hmm. Arguing on the basis of good evidence is the point. You'll understand this in a few years. Don't worry. Okay, I'm sure I will. So bye for now. Bye, Betty. Thanks for all your help. I need to find more about this island and the wind turbines. That's Miss Mason. Oh, hi, Maddie. What brings you here? Oh, I feel like you're following me these days. Miss Mason, I think you've forgotten. You advised me to come here, to meet the youth group. Oh, of course. I completely forgot. Maybe because I thought that the group is meeting on another day. Were they helpful at all? Well, unfortunately, I missed out on the actual group because I arrived late. There was a very helpful girl there, though. Her name was Betty. But, Miss Mason, I wanted to ask, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm teaching a class. 
the computers for beginners. That makes sense. By the way, do you have some time? Only two minutes, as the class is starting soon and I need to go. Okay, I'll be quick. I was wondering where I could find some news information. Do you know a newspaper called Current Affairs? Hmm, news information. No, I don't know that newspaper. Why don't you go to the newspaper The Bold Voice? The editor, Andy, is my uncle. He's really nice and I'm sure they'll help you. Is it okay to say that you sent me? Of course it is. Where can I find this place? The newspaper building is very close to the grocery shop down the lane. You will see it as it has a big orange sign. Okay, thank you. Always a pleasure, Maddie. On to the bold voice then.